and welcome back to 42 Gear Street number three. And I'm delighted to be here checking out this absolutely gorgeous PV guitar. And um, this is a standard, pretty much box standard EVH style guitar. So it's got all those simple appointments, single volume, single tone, which of course they never used, and also a push pull to split the cores on these two humbuckers. It has a standard Floyd Rose style trim, and of course a locking nut to go with that. It's got a nice bar to hold the strings down to tension under, and these tuners, don't matter because it's a Floyd Rose. This thing has an absolutely glorious, gorgeous top. Three go toggle switch here to switch between bridge, middle, or well both I should say, and neck pickups. One thing I do love is it's got the wheel to adjust the truss rod. I know a lot of people don't like this, but actually, it really is the most convenient way. No skunk stripe, so we know that the fingerboard is separate and that the truss rod is put in underneath the fingerboard. So this thing, it's a pretty much an EVH style guitar. And let's go and have a little listen to what it sounds like when I have a little play through the pocket pod. As always, the great leveler. Hope you enjoy it. Obviously, I'm not a shredder, but it will give you a good idea of what the clean crunch tones and also the lead tones sound like on this guitar. When we've heard the demo, I'll also give you my opinion on what this thing is like to play. Let's go and have a listen. Bye. 
hope you enjoyed that and uh, excuse my playing, but this thing really does play really, really well. The other thing I would say is it's really well balanced on the strap buttons. So in terms of playing on a strap, you're not gonna have any issues with it. It's got a lovely chunky baseball bat neck, exactly as Eddie liked. And uh, for me, the satin finish and the baseball bat neck was really, really easy to play. This thing is not light. I'm gonna suggest that this comes in at around seven to eight pounds, just by my estimation. And um, the cutaway at the back is standard and pretty easy to get up to the dusty end anyway, just simply because of the fact of the neck joint and pocket on this. I think the main thing about this guitar is it does look the absolute business. This has been Jamie Humphrey's favorite guitar, this PV, um, and I think he may well be wanting to take this home with him. Let's see if he manages to get it. As always, um, we have got a standard bit of bird's eye type maple on the back. I'm not sure that the camera will be showing you clearly this bird's eye finish on there, but it is just a pretty basic uh, bird's eye finish. Uh, I think that it looks a really, really nice guitar. It feels a lovely guitar to play and it sounds good. Let me have your comments in the comment section down below. I'll be really interested to hear what you think of it. And I'll be back with the next guitar just as soon as I can. But in the meantime, as always, you guys take good care. <laughs>